Shifting focus and ahead of Prime Minister Narendra Modi's state visit to the United States, CNN News 18's managing editor Zaka Jacob spoke exclusively to U.S. envoy to India, Eric Garcetti. Listen in. Do you have specific concerns about the amount of oil India is importing from Russia? I believe the EU foreign affairs chief was here recently uh, and he expressed some concerns about that. Um, have you had any conversations of this nature with your Indian counterparts? So our position is that India has helped us actually keep that price cap that mm -hmm. was a central tenant. There wasn't a ban on this oil, but there was an attempt to price cap it. And so India's participation is actually fulfilling that goal for us. Were we to see that go higher or something else, we'd have to revisit that. But right now, it's in line with how the alliance has come together and what we have promoted. Um, so we understand that oil is an international uh, good, that prices affect all of us. But at the same time, whether it's diamonds, whether it's technology, other places where we want to be sure that there is a price for aggression, we're going to continue to very aggressively go after that and hopefully bring like-minded people with us. There, there are divergences, particularly when it comes to the mm -hmm. Russia-Ukraine war. Mm -hmm. uh, what are your concerns mm -hmm. uh, around the stand that India has taken? Mm -hmm. Or it's not necessarily on the same right. page as the United States or Europe. Yeah. How would you describe that? Well, we won't stop speaking out about an unprovoked war of aggression by Russia against Ukraine. And I think when I talk to my Indian friends, sovereignty and borders matters a lot in this country, and they understand why the United States believes that that rule of law, that central tent of international relations, has to be respected, and in some cases even fought for. Here, I was in Ukraine in February, mm -hmm. and it's not just about power politics. This is about people. This is about the senior pensioner who has a missile ripping through her apartment building with no strategic value whatsoever. The parent who's separated from her children, living in another country with a family she's never met. We can't forget the human impact. And a country like India that has experienced war, I think, knows that and feels that. At the same time, where we don't agree 100% of the time, we're not going to stop the momentum in this relationship. We know that we can continue doing things together, even where, as all good friends do, we don't agree 100% of the time, but I think the street here in India recognizes how important that sovereignty issue is, how important borders and respecting them are, and will continue to say, you don't have to be involved in this war to feel its impact. This has affected the global economy, and India has suffered too because of what's going on. Uh, it's the first time in nine years that Prime Minister Modi will be attending a state visit. I think he's been there four times, if I'm not mistaken. What does this visit mean for the U.S. administration? This is really about the idea of the Indo-Pacific now becoming something real, not just to guide our relationship with India, but to guide our own future in the United States, to make sure we're not dependent on any one place for our supply chains, to make sure that our values as two democracies um, stand in contrast to other countries who aren't democratic. This is about also the region and pulling together, not just through our bilateral ties, but our quadrilateral ties with mm -hmm. Japan and Australia and the Quad, the I2U2 with Israel and UAE. We really have the ability, I think, to be a force together for doing good things, not just for our people, but a recognition in Washington that our future is tied to India's success and India's success is tied to ours. The most consequential relationship, of course, of the next many decades is going to be U.S.-China. India has a stake in that relationship as well because India has its own share of uh, uh, divergences with China. How do you see uh, the U.S. role, particularly in this ongoing sort of border standoff that we have uh, with China? Well, I think our actions and spirit speak for itself. Um, India has more military drills with the United States than any other country. Where there have been incidents and where India has called on us, we have been there. And I think that will continue to deepen, whether it's co-production of defense. It's about deterrence. It's about integrating our forces. It's about sharing at moments of crisis the information with each other. And I think that's a very important front, not just for two countries, but for as many countries to stand by. If we don't respect those borders and if we don't respect boundaries for one country, they won't be respected for any country. So India can count on the friendship of America. They can count on the strategic relationship that we have. And I hope that the visit of the Prime Minister will embed some things that we will see that make this not about this year's agreement, but about the next 25, even 50 years.